Uh, this could go horribly wrong because this was not planned. Like scribble down in like two minutes. Hello everyone, my name is Tasha and today I'm going to be talking about The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. I am aware that this book has been out for a while and there's even a second book out and the third book comes out this year. I haven't read the second book yet and I didn't want to wait until my wrap up to talk about this book because I have some major feels and it could take up a, a big part of that video so I'm gonna talk about it in a separate video. The Remnant Chronicles consists of The Kiss of Deception, Heart of Betrayal, and the third book is called The Beauty of Darkness. First of all, I love the covers of these books and I cannot wait to get physical copies of these. The Kiss of Deception is about Leah. At the beginning of the book she's about to get married to a prince she has never met. It's an arranged marriage. Quite spontaneous, Leah decides to run away on her wedding day with her best friend. They end up in this kind of small village and they both work as barmaid maids maidens and two people end up following her one being the prince she was supposed to marry and the other one an assassin who was sent to kill leah most of the book is in leah's point of view but you also get point of views of the assassin and the prince and apparently you weren't supposed to know who is who like, you end up seeing them and Leah meets them and it was supposed to be a mystery who the assassin was and who the prince was but for some reason I just assumed this guy's the assassin and this guy is the prince because I didn't know that who was who was supposed to be a mystery and in the end a plot twist I wasn't aware of that, so I just kind of assumed this guy's assassin and this guy is the prince. I absolutely loved, adored this book. It was fantastic. The world building was A+. Plus. Well, the beginning was a bit slow for me and part of that was the world building. It took me a bit to get into and I didn't think I was gonna like it because it all seemed quite confusing, but even before I was halfway through Everything made perfect sense to me. Even the politics and like royalty stuff and whatever, everything made sense to me. The characters were so complex and Leah isn't quite a badass female character, but she has she has something that makes her so unique and I really, really loved reading from her perspective. Yeah, as I've mentioned, there are some other perspectives throughout the book, which I also enjoyed. I wasn't bored with anyone's point of view. There were some slow paced moments, but they were done very well, so it wasn't boring. I don't think I've mentioned this, but I obviously gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I think those were my spoiler free thoughts for now, so if you have not read this book, I would recommend you leave this video so I can get into my spoilery rambly bits and also move my camera because it's getting a bit dark. Now let's get into some <laughs> Some of my feelings. The major part I'm probably going to talk about is the plot twist of this book. I've mentioned in the spoiler free bit that I did not know that there was a plot twist in this book and it seems like everyone who started reading this book knew there was going to be a plot twist before they started reading it so they were expecting something like that. I was not expecting a plot twist so when it happened I was completely mind blown. I had to stop reading and reevaluate my entire life. I can't even describe how mind blown I actually was. So, since I didn't realize there was supposed to be a mystery around Caden and Rafi, Rafe, Raf, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. I, for some reason, assumed somewhere in the beginning that Caden was the prince and Raf Rafi was the assassin and when Caden suddenly kidnapped Leah I I <laughs> I was questioning myself because I I wasn't sure was this supposed to be a plot twist or did I just misread something and think 
like switched these two people around for the entire book? Was I just that stupid? So when that happened, I actually went onto Goodreads and like skimmed through some reviews to see if people mentioned a plot twist like that and the, obviously I didn't try to spoiler myself or anything else. From what I skimmed through, I couldn't find anyone mentioning a plot twist so I was questioning myself and thinking I was just that stupid to assume that Caden was the prince and Rafi was the assassin, but actually it was the other way around. Throughout the rest of the entire book, I was still questioning myself. And then, obviously, after I finished it, I went right back to Goodreads and read some more reviews, and eventually I found some people mentioning the plot twist, so I was a bit relieved, but oh my god. It's been a while since a plot twist got to me like that. That was so amazing and so well done. As to who I ship, I have no idea. Right at the beginning, while when I still thought Caden was the prince, I kind of shipped Leah and Caden and was a bit put off by her and Rafi, like when they got closer to each other, but eventually I fell in love with them I shipped them so hard. And then later on, when Leah was with Caden, everything in me was like against that happening and them getting closer. But eventually, I started warming up to Caden, and I'm still not sure what to think of him because he's the assassin that was sent to kill Leah. For some reason, he hasn't done it. I mean, obviously, he started kind of liking her, I guess. But I feel like there are some other motives. They might be cleared up in The Heart of Betrayal. So I'm not quite sure who I ship right now. I think I'm leaning more towards Leah and Rafi. But some small part of me also kind of likes Leah and Caden. I don't know. This book, oh my god. Also, can I just say, Pauline being pregnant with Mikael's child and Leah telling her that Mikael is dead, that is so gonna blow up in her face. Like, I'm not looking forward to Pauline finding that out, what Mikael is really like. Uh, and another thing, when Leah had to watch her brother Walter die, was it Walter? I think it was Walter. When she had to watch him die and Caden was holding on to her and she was like screaming and flailing all about, oh. Uh, that made me cry so much. That was so heartbreaking. She couldn't do anything. She had to watch him die. And then when she dug all those graves and the barbarians, whatever, they helped her dig the graves even though it went against their belief or whatever. Oh my god. Mm. I need to stop now. Yeah, those were my spoilery thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me down below if you've read this book and your thoughts on it, especially in the plot twist. Put a warning for spoilers for so people who haven't read the book won't be spoiled in the comments. That was it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye! I was not- what is this? Damn it. I cannot get over that plot twist.